came in today. And my poor little poopsies. The ugly little bitch. So, fish. I have to say, ugh, that's all my knees. do this without the light on the glasses. So. They're actually too distracting. Okay, so I'm doing an impromptu. This came in today. It's still wrapped, so I'll make it well. I literally ordered this like two, maybe three days ago. And it came in already. So it's the Walt Life Disney box. Um, begins Adventure Begins. Your Adventure Begins. And then on the top, just black eyes on the words. Magic inside. And then the bottom has like my shipping. But um, so basically, you put what box you want. So you choose like, um, I'm not going to get the numbers right and I'll probably put it on the screen, but it was something like 39, 49, or 79. And I kind of wanted to see what was in 79. So I got that one and you can stop it at any time or whatever you want to do like usual. Ralph's right here. Say hi, puppy. So, um, and then you also put if you want it to be for male, female, or both um, products. And then don't eat that. And then, oh, sorry, it's focusing, or the light is focusing. I have to sit, oh, I was on my knees. Um, um, and then, okay, male, female, or both, and what was the other one? Oh, the age group. So it was like, I don't know, toddler ages, like kids, preteen, and then like 18 and up. So I got the 18 and up, I got the female, um, and the 79, 70 something dollar one. So let's open together. Let your dreams begin, it says. And then it says welcome, and it has um, that Raffia or Raffia paper, so we can't see it. Um, and then the top of the box, it's all about you, enter to win an awesome prize. And then you snap a photo with your box, post it, and win random, random winners will be numbered. So it has a welcome letter, Ralph's gonna help us. Welcome to the Walt Life family. You just joined exclusive Disney fan club that is here to send you all the Disney fun that you'll ever need. We are so excited to curate special boxes every month filled with officially licensed Disney and Disney Parks goodies that are specially chosen with you in mind. So based on those choices, which is not really like a personality, just um, we're excited to create your happily ever after. Get ready to love our box as much as we loved making it for you. And then there's a personal note. Let me see if I can get it to us. There's a personal note here. And it says, hey, beautiful, I'm Sarah. I'm so happy to introduce myself as I am your personal Disney shopper. Please share your experience with us. Stay magical. Okay, and then there was a card that came out, and it looks like it's Jasmine with the box. And then, let's, okay, I gotta get back on my knees because I'm like, I have like a little makeshift table here. So I'm gonna take this off. First thing I see is an umbrella, which you think it's summer you don't need it but okay it was 120 117 120 depending on if you're sun in the sun or in the shade this might actually come in handy for being in the sun so I know you're not supposed to open it inside but you gotta see it it says 42 inch auto open so it's um, a button that you push Ooh, 
like this print. The next thing I see is this keychain and it has 2020 and it has Disney Florida. So this one came from the Disney Florida Walt or Disney World, sorry, Disney World Parks and um, 2020 I believe Donald is summing it up in his picture here. So that's cute. I will definitely be putting that on my keys. The next thing I see right here, ooh, is jewelry. And this looks like it says Kingdom Hearts. And it has um, a necklace and earrings. Can I get it to, it's like a, in a little tin. Let me see if I can get it open. There's tape. Alright, And it has like uh, crowns for the earrings and then the heart. So I'm not sure which um which Disney show this is from. It kind of reminds me of like the descendants kind of look. But I'd have to look it up. Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. That must be something that I'm unaware of. The next thing I see that I'm super excited for because I can take it to work is a pen. And this is... It says gold. Oh, I wonder if this is... If it writes in gold. But it has... Um, this is also from Walt Disney World. And it has Up, it has Toy Story, it has um, Monsters, Inc., and Finding Nemo, and oh, the little ball. I just want to say Pixar. I don't know. Is this Pixar? With the little ball? Or maybe that's Toy Story. I'm just taking this off, but let's see how it writes. Do a little click, and I'm gonna write on this paper she sent. No, it's not gold. I don't know why I said gold on it. Oh, you know what? I do know. Duh, Ashley. It's when you're at the Disney parks um, to know the prices of certain things, they'll label their items instead of with a price, it will have different colors. So this one was gold, so I'm not sure off the top of my head what the gold is. Look at my chip nail. Um, I just did that today. Um, so this costs whatever the gold price is. I think there's, I don't know how many different colors, but now I remember what that's from. So this is cool. I'm glad that it's not gold. <laughs> gold ink, I was thinking at first. I'm glad it's black because I can use this at work. The next thing I see are Jelly Belly Mini Mouse. And they're jelly beans. And it looks like they're regular flavors. Stop licking my toe. Um, yeah, normal flavors, but it has the cute Mini Mouse on it. Cute. And then I think there's a couple more things. A shot glass. So all of this must have come from Florida because they all have Florida on it. This one's a shot glass. It also has 2020. Um, it looks like Donald's a little happier on this picture. Um, but it has also the Florida. Um, should have fixed my nails for this. I was too excited to open the box though. But um, this is perfect. You know what I use my shot? Because I'm not a big drinker. Um, and I don't usually measure like if I do a mixed drink. But I will use my sh shot glasses for we have gardenia plants. And when we cut the flowers when, after they've bloomed, um, I just try to cut the stem long enough depending on which um, shot glass I'll use. And then we'll just stick them in there with some water. And I'll put it either in the kitchen or next to the couch here or in the bathroom or next to my bed. Just if they smell so amazing and wherever you put it, it's going to smell just like that. 
Okay, I know I'm almost done. And then last thing I see, I think there's one more piece of paper or something in there. Um, I see is the, oh my gosh, it's makeup. And it's Disney Villains Ursula Highlighter Palette. And it's that pop um, look. So it's, um, I call it anime. I don't know exactly what it is. But, um, and then here's the back. It shows you, it has a mirror and then it has some highlighter, which I will get out right now. And, um, like the way they make the characters look, um, with this pop stuff, it reminds me of like anime, like a little more, um, I don't know, more cartoony than they already are, I guess you could say. I don't know. Someone probably knows what. The official words are for that but that's what it looks like to me and I'm just taking the tape off so I can get the palette out and we can swatch it it comes in a little plastic tray and here it is and it's like this teal aqua blue which I love because my favorite is like oceany things um, Little Mermaid is my favorite so I'm really excited to see that this was in there and my favorite thing that Ursula says is, my poor little poopsies. I think she's like holding the little sea urchins. Okay, so let's open this. It has like a little spot here to put your finger. And try to do this without something against it. And here is the, let me get it ready. Sorry, I keep getting up and down. But here is the colors and we have vixen tough choices unfortunate souls and body language so totally things that she says in the movie that's so cute vixen i don't i don't remember unless it's just because she's like a vixen um like when she comes to try to take eric and then tough choices because Ariel has to choose to give up her voice. And then the song, Poor Unfortunate Souls. And then the body language. So like when they take her, when they take Ariel's voice, um, she was like, how am I gonna like talk to anybody? And she was like, body language. With her looks and this and that part of the song. Anyways, obviously I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan. But this is so, so cute. Um, and we can swatch it too real quick. Just tough choices. Unfortunate soul. And body language. So to do the, the drawing, the win, to win a prize or something, um, it has like this little paper. It says you're awesome. And then on the back you put... My name is, and I'm the biggest Disney fan. So you can put this um, next to the picture that you take um, when you're trying to win. Okay. Um, another thing is a bookmark. One side has Snow White with fairest of them all quote. And the other side says Walt Life, an exclusive Disney fan club. One side's a little shiny, one side's more matte. You can tell this one's matte. And then, what's in here? This is a coin. Collect all eight Walt Life coins and win a trip for two to Disney World. Wow. This Walt Life Treasures game board on back. Oh, this comes out. Oh, okay. So this is where you put the gold coins they're talking about and you collect all eight and then you can get um, a trip to Disney World. Which right now with COVID, I don't know when that's going to happen because you try opening and then stuff happens. So to recap, we've got the coins, the bookmark, the palette. Ursula, we've got the jelly beans, we've got the pen, we've got the keychain, 
We've got the umbrella. We've got the jewels. And the welcome letter and little card. And then the piece, the game board piece to collect them all. So when, so this is my first box, obviously. One thing I noticed, it doesn't tell you like what the prices are. Um, it doesn't tell you if you're getting it. Oh, sorry. And the shot glass. And then all this paper. Um, it doesn't tell you like what the prices are and then like, you know, how much you paid for the box, like comparative to see like, are you getting a good deal? Um, I would like if they put that paper or even a paper just saying like description of what was included, you know, like what each thing is. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, I guess, but I don't know. It's still kind of nice. And then, um, like you could even say like this one's from the Florida parks. I mean, I kind of assume all of it is mostly, um, just because most of it said Florida. Some of it didn't say anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the things that I got, you know, with any of these boxes, you get some things that you might not use, um, and some things that you love. And, um, you know, some of those things are good regus. I don't know. There's a ton of people, a lot of kids, you know, um, that you could totally re-gift some of this to. So if there's something that you didn't like, you have a gift on hand or whatever. Um, it looks like you can win prizes. Um, and then the box itself, you know, you could use. So overall, like if I were to say like 1 to 10, like how I would rate this specific box, I can't judge it like on each box because this is my first one, but this specific box that I got, um, like how overall I would probably say a seven. Um, just because some of it, like I wouldn't have purchased individually on my own. Um, but I do like each thing. I could see like some of my family members liking some things that I wouldn't use. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I'm excited to see what the next one will bring. I think it's every month. I'll definitely put it in the, the clip or down below in the description box. Um, if you have one or you've gotten this box or you want to see a different subscription box um, reviewed, let me know. Um, I'll try to do more of because I get other boxes too and I'll try to do more. One of the boxes that I get that's a subscription is the... Am I going to remember to say it right? Once Upon a Book Club. And that one's kind of hard, trickier to review. Um, I would have to wait like a couple months ahead and then put like a warning. Because if you haven't read, it's a book club. And it's a book you get each month. And then you get certain gifts that are according to the story. Which I think is great because it's like an incentive for me to continue to read the book. I have so many books in the past that I've purchased. Um, that you know, are sitting on the shelf but not read. And this one wants kind of makes me want to continue to read it because I want to continue to see what the gifts are. Um, so yeah, I would have, I wouldn't want to spoil those surprises for other people if you're waiting to get to that page to see what it is. Um, but obviously if you know about, you know, if you know about the club, then you know not to do that, not to watch the video, you know, or whatever. Um, so anyways, yeah, if there's other book, or sorry, other subscriptions that you want to see reviewed, let me know and I'll try to check them out. I just really wanted to try it out because I am a Disney fan. I love Disney. If you guys liked this review, if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you are already subscribed, thanks for coming back and checking out another all right, guys, you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now I gotta clean up all this paper.